Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 280. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, everypony. How have you been going this week? We're doing good. We're doing good. How about you? Been the same and it's been good. Got some new things happening and uh, we could just talk about it at the end of the show. True that, true that. So, anywho, let's head on to the news because it's just the both of us for this week. And... Uh, due to internet problems and funny thing uh, today has been pretty bad on the internet like I had to restart the router a few times did a ping check on speed test and yeah uh, not great connection was not great but uh, it's just the two of us for this week so we just carry on so anywho remember a while back when we mentioned that uh, if you go see the ponies, you'll be getting the exclusive uh, merch stuff like the popcorn bucket and the cups for the drinks and also exclusive figures. Yeah, um, it seems that we get a glimpse of how they really look like and they look really cool. I, I really like the figure because the figure looks, um, what you call it, realistic kind of way. They look good. They look good. Um, done by I don't know who, but yeah, they look good. But there's no Fluttershy in Applejack. Oh. Interestingly speaking, they look pretty much like a 3D printed model from what I can see. Mm, yeah, or molded from a factory in China. <laughs> Maybe. But if you take a look, see, um, those two pony poses, they're technically the same. Yeah, you're right. Well, except for Rainbow Dash and Twilight. Well, technically that's also the same except for their left front hoof. So... Yeah, that's about so it. we we get three modes out of it because Rarity and Pinkie Pie is doing the same stance, just the head is a bit tilted, a bit differently. Mm-hmm. And I'm just wondering, where is Fluttershy and Applejack? Applejack being background pony, and uh, maybe Fluttershy being shy as usual. <laughs> I guess so. That makes sense, but still, uh, oh. they could have um, six sales out of this, but nah, they have to make four sales out of this. Uh. <laughs> I I wonder how they're gonna sell this uh, figures. You know, here's the real question: Are we gonna even get this in our local cinemas? Because at the rate of how things are going with the whole um, movie in our local neck of the woods, I doubt we're gonna even get the movie shown here. Uh, I don't know. Well, I remember that back in the what you call it, the our MBS group, there was uh, someone. Driving up the hype and asking how many people is willing to pay for fifty fifty five ringgit just to as to book like um what you call it a full theater, in a group yeah. and then we can just yeah to book one whole theater to do one whole showing or something yeah something like that um technically it was an event that uh, the local cinema here wanted to try out and it's not for only for the bronies but it's technically for the whole family the brony was just the push they need to get the numbers but. Judging yep. from the numbers that we had, which was 60 votes. Well, 60 votes is not that bad, right? I mean, 60 people were interested yep. in going, but you have to remember out of 600. So that's only 10% of the majority of people who are interested in watching. So, yeah. Well, the thing is, when you're talking about locals, you're basically referring to the West Malaysia side, which obviously the East Malaysia side will be a different story kind oh. of market. True true too but you have to remember that 600 out of 60 is kind of a low number and with you mean 60 over 600 yeah that because you were saying 600 over 60 yeah but, yeah. but still my point is there's going to be there's a lot of things that are not panning out like we should get more hype for this i mean if the theater says, hey, we're going to do this. Are you interested? It'll be automatic. Yes, people will rush through it. Like, there's a whole legion of people that's interested in going and watch this movie. But now, nah, I mean, <sighs> well, you know, me complaining is not going to change anything. Nope. Well, we have to see the profitability of the market, which I know, I know obviously that the West Malaysia, for, for uh, like KL or whatsoever, will get the movie for sure. But East Malaysia or even Brunei, for example, we, I doubt we will have the screening for the movie. And the thing is that at that time, right, if, since the movie will release, I will be having a lot of difficulty in traveling. Yeah, but at the same time too, I'm not even 100% sure if any local theater is going to show it because when I check some of the listings for movies that are, well, 
coming out for October and whatnot. Nothing. No ponies. Like, not even the one. So, I'm just thinking that uh, there's a chance that this movie won't be shown locally. So, yeah, that's gonna suck. Ah, uh, what can we do? Uh, well, I, I don't know. Ah, uh, But you know what? Putting this aside, let's go for desserts. Like, after popcorns and drinks and getting our exclusive swags from the theaters, we're gonna have some of the swag of food, right? And it seems that the Canadian base yogurt store, um, I think they're called Yogurt, Yogurts, <laughs> um, is holding, uh, well, a contest to get free movie tickets. I think that's his contest, right? Uh, you could win screening of My Little Pony the movie. Visit www.yogurtscontest.ca to enter. Yay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's one lucky. way. Lucky. <laughs> so, that's one way to watch <laughs> your movie. Yep. Yeah, that's one way to make people buy the, uh, what do you call it, merch out of it. <laughs> well, in this case, it's not merch. This is what you call food, yeah, for example. True. This, this food is good. For you. Yeah. And also, yeah. you got Lu- Luigi's, Luigi's um, Italian ice cream, or real Italian ice cream. So yeah, that's cool too. Food and movie tie-ins are fun. Like last week, I mentioned something about crafts and their mac and cheese. So <laughs> food yeah. and movie tie-ins. <laughs> Yay. Well, at least you can have that, the mac and cheese, together with this Froyo as your dessert. So, well, it works, right? Yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Well, Americans with their mac and cheese, what do you call it? Hey, mac and cheese is fun and good. I like ah, mac and cheese. Not too sure. it's, well, yeah, you could say it's nice, but in the end, it's very un- unhealthy. <laughs> uh, boo. Mac and cheese is great. Uh, but you know what? I think there's no debate on this, but let's carry on to the last news of the week and, whew. Um, this is a bit early. Um, seems that uh, Walmart is selling Hallmark ornaments for Christmas, and it seems that ponies are on the list. And this time it's a Pinkie Pie. Woo! I'm not surprised. Um, judging from some of the people's, uh, I hear from some companies, like even though it's Hall, like they already started Halloween, and when the Halloween's happening, they already changed to Christmas. Yeah. Decorations. I was like, wow. okay, that's a bit too fast. Yep. But yeah, this is not the first time. I think a while back we also did the same news, but for 2016, and, was, and the figure was Pinkie Pie 2. So yeah, Pinkie Pie keeping up the tradition of party early. <laughs> there is never too late for party. You can celebrate any party as you want in just the same day. True that. And also the f- uh, ornament here, it looks good. Yep. And the price for the ornament is seven ninety nine, eight dollars. So yeah, that's cool. Is this a US dollar? Yep. <laughs> okay. Still, uh, looks good. Won't, uh, don't mind buying it. Uh, let's see, it's six ninety seven at Walmart in the red. Oh, but still, some people say it's seven dollars at Walmart in the red gift box packaging. I don't know. But still, uh, prices are vary. So if you have, if you do celebrate the Christmas, uh, do get the pony figures. If not, just go get the pony figures. It looks good. But you have this annoying thing that stick out from the head or something <laughs> for the hanging on the trees. <laughs> True, but still, that means you can hang it on other things. Cars, for example. Yeah, cars. <laughs> cars is one thing. Or other things, I don't know. You, you use your imagination. Yep. Uh, but still, um, that's the news for this week. Um, other highlights for this week is, um, well, remember how last week there's a derp in scheduling and we got Daring done early? Yep. <laughs> wow. And Daring done's going to be showing today on the 9th of September. So yeah. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> so, um, mm-hmm. there's another derp, if I remember right, and that has to do with the newest episode. And recent episode is called, It Isn't the Mare Thing About You. What? Main thing oh, about yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, main thing about it's you. It's a pun. Yeah. 
It's, it's, it's a pun. And it features Sakura. And it's scheduled to come out on the 16th of September. Yay. But if I do remember... Basically, the next week. Yeah. Yep. But, but I remember it was the synopsis that was um derp. I remember. Synopsis derp? Not the... You viewing coming out because I do remember. No, the the viewing that was done last week was the daring done. But uh-huh. when they post the what you call it the was it campfire tales or was it ch- the change of changeling? When they post it onto the Hasbro website, the synopsis was it isn't the main thing about you. Oh, okay. <sighs> Hasbro, Hasbro, Hasbro. This year seems to be the year of the leaks. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I want. I wonder what happened to that guy who did the market. Uh, what do you call it for, the marketing and stuff the ring for done? this new episode and stuff. No, for the releasing the new episodes uh, kind of things. I don't know. That one was for YouTube. You have to buy the video to watch the video. So yeah, that's true. People who are interested can just buy it and watch it if they want to. So it's kind of okay. You grab money out of yeah. that. So. Eh? But the thing is that it does not apply for us. It's only applying the states. Yeah, Remember but that. you know DNS or Tunnel Bear, you can use it to bypass yeah. stuff. <laughs> yep. So yeah, I mean, the Hasbro wants money. We give money. They, they don't really care where it comes from. Yes. But do know that we are not sponsored by Tunnel Bear. Oh, if yeah. they're willing to sponsor us, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I want Tunnel Bear to sponsor us. God dang it. <laughs> yeah, with the recent uh, controversy with the Malaysia government. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. That one was. Uh, that one was a huge job. No, uh, I don't know. That was... Okay, for people who are wondering what we're talking about, there's this fighting game called uh, Fighting Gods. Fight of Gods. Fight of Gods. Fight yes. of Gods. Yeah. yeah, Fight of Gods that came out recently, and. If you can catch out the two best friends play channel to watch their let's play of it or their fighting game of it, like they 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 play the game. So the the thing is, from what I understand, Fight of Gods has been out for a while now. It's just the recent update. They included. Um, hmm? No, was it recent update? Oh, I thought it was. Oh, I thought they were just released it two days ago or something like that. I don't remember, but or um, to early access. Yeah, but, but the thing is that what makes it unique is the fact that you can fight with um. Real life gods, and which includes, um, well, in this case, is Jesus the prophet with the Buddha, and yeah, I mean, pretty much that created a huge controversy in the Malaysia government. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. Um, I knew from the moment I saw the game being announced and stuff, I knew that oh god, this is gonna be terrible, ain't it? So it's like you know, pay no mind to it. But if the government talks up talks about it, um, plays, you know, just talk it up, people are going to notice. And when people notice, yep. they're going to make some sales out of it just because the government says don't play it. Which it works. Because yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I have the game now. <laughs> is that, that one thing where, you know, when you tell a kid, don't do this, don't do that, what's, what's going to happen? People are going to do it, of yeah, course. Yeah, I know. It's uh. like, oh, God. <laughs> It's a reverse psychology. You cannot run away from that. I know. And you know what? Okay. I'm not interested in those kind of games. So I watched the best friends play it. And, oh God, it's not good. How much did you bought it, by the way? It was 40% on discount. And we, I got it for about like, was it 12 ringgit or something like that? 12 ringgit. I think it was 12 ringgit. <laughs> so basically that's about three to four bucks. Even lower, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. But in in the end, right? Did you play any of it? No, I just get it for the controversy <laughs> effect. Well, it worked. Like, why not, right? I mean, I may play it. Who knows in the long run? Because it's still early access, right? But yeah, I, I seen the game being played, and it's not a good fighter. I mean, with those cash, like those three to four bucks that you have, it's better that you save it to for food. Yes, save it for food. Well, then again, it's people always say that the fact that, oh, you know, you, you could spend on burger, but you could have just saved up the money and just buy it on games. But this is the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> you don't buy the game just to get the food. <laughs> oh, no. Man. Yeah. Okay. But you know what? That, that story aside, that, that story aside with the whole dumbness of the whole situation, we put that aside because that's not, well, I think that's not my week. I don't know about yours, but what have you been doing with our week? So, Star, what have you been doing your week besides buying games that you're not supposed to buy? 
<laughs> well, uh, long story short, uh, well, last week I wasn't on because uh, Norman decided to do a solo episode, mm-hmm. and uh, well, Build a Bear releases their new uh, new plushies. So of course, I of course being the what do you call it, the, uh, trying to get it as fast as possible, I got it from the Australia website, which. It has the Songbird Serenade and Tempest Shadow. But mm. with the other countries like the US or UK, they only release like Tempest Shadow until the 21st September where they release Songbird Serenade. So right now, at least for the Australia side, we get everything. So I just got all of them and just waiting for them to come. From what I can look at the plush, it looks really good. That's all I can say. Good, good quality. From what I can tell, yeah, those plush were interesting too. I'm a bit surprised that Australia got those two first, like, before anyone else. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised there, but... Hmm? I, maybe I think the bit of a reason. I'm assuming the reason would be because he, uh, the one who voiced Songbird Serenade, Sia, mm-hmm. is actually from Australia. Oh, really? So I guess they do it... Yeah, she's Australian, actually. And so what they probably, in conjunction to that, she just really... Maybe inform Build a Bear to just release it on the, what do you call it, as a time exclusive until the 21st September. Or maybe because they just want to meet demands on all these kind of things. We will never know. But at least one thing we can be sh- know is that we get to see Sia's uh, Somber Serenade eyes. Oh, yeah. And it's blue. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, spoilers. <laughs> well, um, well, it's already released, the plush. So I what know. do you expect? It's, it's toy spoilers. Toy spoilers has to count. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, it, but the thing is, it did, re, uh, show the Songbird Serenade, uh, Build a Bear plush in Hascon. I saw it actually. It was just displayed in a, what you call it in the, what you call it in the case with all the other merchandise. Well, I think they put it together with the clothes. I it could be wrong. I couldn't remember where they put it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I saw something similar to, like, there's also a huge giant figure of, Sia's pony OC at the pony Yeah, the book. statue of the yeah. Songbird Serenade and all this. But then again, I do wonder, what do they do with all those things after the convention is over? Ugh, they put it in storage. Yeah, but I do know that that thing is huge. I know. What are they going to do? They put it in storage. That's the thing. They put everything in storage and then yeah. uh, probably... They what are they going to... I mean, it pretty much going to be unused asset after that. Oh yeah, I mean... Once the movie is out. Yeah, that's the thing too. Unless they use it for the second movie. I don't know what they do with stuff after the promotion's done. Probably sell it off. I I don't know. <laughs> but still, um, what else? Uh, talking about Hascon. Um, Hascon's happening this week, uh, last weekend. Uh, when this show comes out, it's be last. No, weekend. this week. Yeah, see, yeah, we're in the future right now. So if we say this weekend, it doesn't really count because it was last week. And say when we say last week, it doesn't really count because it's now. So it's like wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Yeah, they seen the sneak peek of the movie and all these kind of things, yeah. uh, obviously. But and like, some someone on the comments did say that he they he did see some of the new toys that's gonna come out in the future, which not shown in Hascon yet, or things like that. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but no, let, let, let's not talk about the movies and such. Like, Hascon was last week, and it seems like a lot of people had a lot of fun, and I, I don't know, I wish I was there to cover the whole thing, but you know what, distance and whatnot, and yeah, not not gonna be... Well, at least we had our convention. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had our convention, and that was fun. Yeah, true, true. Well, you know what, Um, that's for something else for another day but hey um, at least we got ours so um, is that all of your week man? well I did start um, trying CP, uh, GPU mining oh, cryptocurrency God. mining oh how's that going? I'm, I'm doing what the, um, so far um, for three days I've been earning at least two US dollar hmm. so far for two oh, days better than nothing two days? yeah but for two three days like that uh, been earning some small cash. Then again, I if count in the power bills, it's gonna be not worth it in the long run. But at the very least, you're you're using uh what you call it your CPU for something as a way to earn extra money. You're using your current rig, was it? Yeah, I'm using my current rig, using the what you call it my GTX 1080 to mine. Mm, well, yeah, and yeah, I I can see, yeah, because uh the thing with mining, if I do understand right. One of our friends, he's doing it, and he told me that 
he spent a whole buttload of cash on doing it. And he told me that within a year, he might get everything uh, squared off. Mining is okay if you're in the, what you call this, heyday of the whole thing. But now yep. it's a bit too late. So yeah, nah, like you should have done well, it beforehand. If, if you talk about, yeah, that's true. But that that would be in the event like things like uh, Bitcoin because Bitcoin is pretty much, um what you call it, it's pretty much become the industry standard for cur- cryptocurrency and which what they do is that China pretty much uh, used the mining rigs and amass a huge amount of mining rigs in the worth of like millions of dollars just to do the warehouse and they do mining for that and it's pretty much um destroying the market in a sense and drive up the value of the bitcoin just a single bitcoin is already worth like how many thousands of us dollars and so the one that i'm mining right now is i'm mining a currency called the ethereum which is which is uh, pretty much what they call it the asic resistant which is resistant to mining rigs so you have to mine like a normal personal rig using just a normal personal rig because they have a certain uh what you call it algorithm behind it that stops the mining rigs from yeah. doing their work yeah Maybe, you know. and i do have another one which is um another one this is a bit like ethereum but you you actually don't mine with your gpu but you mine with your cpu instead so it's a bit unique in that sense huh. all right well um looks like i'm learning something new every day i also just started out because uh, that daniel saying pinky well, he was the one who introduced to me because we have this one application that you can just one click and it will just do everything manually at auto for us oh cool, cool. Yep. well <laughs> uh, good luck with your mining and i hope that you get the extra cash to share around with friends <laughs> now probably i will maybe donate it to probably to project c ponycon well, if it does happen again, if it does happen again, or you could do is support our show at patreon.com slash the MBS show. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> that. That is also a good option. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but <clears throat> what's going on with my week? Uh, let's see. Uh, my week has been pretty interesting. Um, I think I've started out the week by searching out for screws. And the real reason for searching out the screws is I bought a uh, money the mount. How was the mount? Oh, um, it's nice. It's, um, it's technically okay for people at home who do not know what the money the mount is. It's technically this one steel, um, pole with brackets holding the monitor, and yeah, technically it's that. So I have two monitors on with me, so I set it up nicely, and I can move it around and place it at the location where I think I want it to be and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty good. It's looking good. Uh, the problem is right now, I don't have really much of a space to play around with it. So I can't do much with it now. But the future idea is at least I have the mount so I can do something with it. So um, I don't have any stands on the bottom. So that's good. So now I receive or now I recovered at least 20% of my desk space again. So that's good. And installing, right here. Mm-hmm. and installing the whole thing is not that bad. It was pretty simple, except for searching for the screws. The screws that they gave by default were short, so I had to go out and buy more or buy longer screws. So in the end, uh, everything's good. Everything's good. And now I'm thinking, should I have bought the third um, mount for the third screen? Because uh, there's the whole... Um, two, three, four, six mount, uh, setup that they had. And I went for the two mount. And now I'm thinking, should I get a three mount? Yeah, you could get a three mount. Well, provided that it depends on how you're going to arrange it in the, in the long run. Yeah, the long term is going to be easy because I have desk space. But as for now, yep. I don't really have much of a desk space. I think you've seen my setup. So you have a general idea of how things are. I do have a general idea. Well, for my case, if I decide to do... Well, I have a few things that I still need to upgrade. One of it is the... What you call it? My speaker setup. I probably want to change in the long run because... uh, Because my audio quality is a bit terrible with my current speakers. 
because um sometimes the right right hand side of the was or was it the left um the speakers they tend to pop off the sound and sometimes or may or may not work because of the cable is a bit loose at the back. So I may switch to what you call Logitech Z906 where it's a 7.1 with the one speaker with you know one subwoofer with five uh speakers and it's not cheap. But from the price that I see, it's still cheaper than uh, where I can get it from. I mean, in terms of Brunei, that is, yep. And another thing is, I do want to get monitor mount, but my setup will be a bit different than Norman because for, he gets the two mount. Because if for my case, I get the three, I had to get the solo mount as I plan to be after that, even longer period of time later. Then I will get something called the ultra wide monitor, which is about uh, 34 inch. In size, so it will take up a lot of uh table space. Yep. Yeah. All right, and yeah, if we're gonna talk about things that we want in the future, I'm thinking about getting the Razer Leviathan. What? Why is that? It's a all-in-one speaker. Well, not really all-in-one. There's two setups to it. Uh, that's the um, sound bar with the subwoofer. Yeah. So I'm thinking about that for my setup because. Um, what I'm using right now is an Edifer, Edifer, E D I E D F, Edifier, Edifier. So, yeah, I'm using Edifier as my current setup right now. It's supposed to be a 7.1 setup, but I don't have a location to put all the speakers, so I just put two. And now I'm thinking about it again. It's like, yeah, I think I should get back my retails, my my desk space again. And kind of find a good location for it, but that's something for the future. The Leviathan is not cheap, and yeah. And in all honesty, I probably should just get two speakers, like two industrial speakers for, um, how do I put this? Like for studios, since I already have this, what do you call this? Um, preamp. Yeah, that's what I have. I have a preamp, and I could have used that to, well, use full advantage of my system. Well, for my case, my motherboard is pre-built with the, what you call it, uh, because I'm using the MSI motherboard. I got this one DA, uh, they comes with this DAC called the Nahimic DAC. And I could, it's, they give four socket at the back. So I could actually, if I'm crazy enough, I could actually just do one for my Logitech, well, for the future plan, for the Logitech Z906 which is like enough speaker, then maybe I do not know how I'll arrange it. Then maybe get two more extra speaker for uh, maybe a large bookshelf speaker, put it in the back and then hook it up to the extra two port. So in the end, that sound will be like, you know, it will sound like a cinema in my room. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I think that's enough tech talk from us. I mean, people are not here for our tech talks. They're here for the ponies. But yeah, so that's been going on with our weeks. So if we do have any future ideas of tech talks, we'll do something about it, I'm sure. But anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow, and my Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Star, where can the good people find you? People can find me on my DeviantArt, Angelico XX, and also, um, well, after C Ponycon, apparently, some people it's easier to get in touch on Twitter, and so I decided to reuse my Twitter more often, and pretty much I've been become something known as a that's not a word poster on the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, City Bell is gonna have and, yeah, so you are gonna have fun with that, and that would be Angelic or XX for my Twitter also. Alrighty then, alright, and also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. And also, please do subscribe to our news project, the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll get me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Hearthstone, and Guest of the Week, probably, talking about pony episodes, comics, and movies. And at the same time, too, we will also talk about other things like anime comics and movies that been entertaining us for this year and if you'd like to support the show you can do so at www.patreon.com slash the mbs show over there you get exclusive contents like 
deleted episodes and other things, and also early access to the review and discussion podcasts early, maybe a few days early, maybe, yeah, who knows? Uh, and also you get a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I like to thank Burger Cat, and Dragatorius, Starstream, and also myself, Lag. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. You have been really, really awesome. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. This is Starstream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode in your show. See ya. See ya. See ya.